we are going to discuss about the atmosphere its importance and composition in this topic the gases envelope that surrounds the earth is called the atmosphere this gases envelope is around the earth basically because of the gravitational attraction of the earth as a result of that the heavy gases present in the atmosphere is close to the earth surface and as we go higher the density of the gases decreases and also we find lighter gases at the higher altitudes in the atmosphere this atmosphere is very extremely important for for the existence of life on this earth it uh, protects the earth from the falling meteors and meteorites the falling asteroids and planetoids that get attracted towards the earth by the by its gravitational attraction gets burnt out because of the frictional force that generates because of uh, it coming uh, in contact with the atmospheric gases and finally it burns out and so the earth is saved from the falling meteors besides uh, uh, there are different type of gases which is present in the atmosphere which uh, uh, protects life on this earth for example ozone that is between 10 to 50 kilometers above the earth surface in the stratosphere that uh, protects the earth from the incoming ultraviolet radiation from the earth and uh, in a way it acts like an umbrella for the earth preventing the ultraviolet rays from coming to the earth's surface besides the carbon dioxide which is present in a very small amount in the atmosphere is extremely important uh, because uh, it is used by the plants in the process of photosynthesis and in a way uh, it uh, is a source of food for different life forms existing on this earth the atmosphere do not only contains uh, different type of gases in different volumes but also water vapor water droplets dust particles which play a very important role uh, in uh, the different uh, weather and climatic phenomena that takes place if we talk about the composition of the atmosphere since uh, uh, it is mainly made of gases which are present in the atmosphere in different volumes nitrogen which is present in the maximum volume in the atmosphere that comprises 78.08% of the total volume of the atmosphere besides uh, oxygen accounts for 20.95% of the total volume of the atmosphere argon 0.93% carbon dioxide only 0.03% but it is extremely important gas it is a greenhouse gas it is a heavy gas which is close to the earth surface and helps in maintaining the temperature of the earth because it absorbs the outgoing terrestrial radiation neon helium krypton xenon hydrogen these are also present in small amounts and these are all called rare gases of the atmosphere out of the total volume of the atmosphere 99% of the total mass of the atmosphere is confined only at up to a height of 32 km so the density of the atmosphere is very high close to the earth surface and as we go higher the density of the different particles that comprises the atmosphere that goes on becoming less and less water vapor is a very important constituent of the atmosphere and it is also called variable gas because it is not present in the same volume everywhere on the earth surface in the warm and wet tropical region water vapor comprises about 4% of the total volume of the air whereas it may be only less than 1% of the air in the polar region however water vapor is very important because it absorbs parts of the insulation 
coming from the sun and helps in heating the atmosphere and maintaining the uh, temperature of the earth it also absorbs the terrestrial radiation which is radiated out of the earth besides uh, it acts like a blanket around the earth which uh, do not allow it to become too cold or too hot so it is very important for existence of life on this earth water vapor also contributes to the stability and instability of the air it leads to cloud formation it leads to different types of weather phenomena that we observe besides another important uh, uh, com component of the atmosphere is dust particles it uh, uh, acts as an hygroscopic material for condensation to take place these are also called hygroscopic nuclei because in the atmosphere condensation take place on the solid particles the dust particles play a very important role in that not only that the different colors that we see in the atmosphere in the sky during the morning and the evening time or in the afternoon that is all because of the refraction that takes place because of the presence of the dust particles and the water droplets in the atmosphere so all these things when we talk about the composition of the atmosphere we talk about the different gases that is present in the atmosphere the dust particles the water particles in different forms that is present that all forms the atmosphere and that is the composition of the atmosphere